Hi everyone, my name is Mei Gise. I am a former Miami graduate um, and current third, fourth year medical student at Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I'm home now because of the coronavirus. <laughs> we have everything on hold, um, but I was part of the Lockheed Martin Leadership Institute um, during my time at Miami, uh, as well as a bunch of other organizations and um, initiatives. So here to conduct this interview with you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, so I'm going to start out with just asking you, what are some of the bigger obstacles that you've experienced when you went from college into your new life um, in med school? Yeah. Um, so for me, it was like, I think compared to some of my peers who didn't go into med school, I may have had an easier transition because I was going from school to school. Um, that to say, um, the transition was still difficult for me because I moved from a different from Ohio to Atlanta, a really big city um, with a lot going on and also starting medical school, which was a hurdle of its own. So um, there's a lot of addressing when you have to, medical school really forces you to change the way you study and change the way you learn or at least adapt in some way. And so when you are in that new environment and the, the material just gets a little bit harder, a little bit more dense, um, a little bit more challenging. It's definitely an adjustment in that way. Um, the benefit of still being a student, and even for me, I was different than a lot of my classmates because I went straight through from undergrad to medical school, um, and that's becoming less and less common. Most people actually will spend a year or two off either working in the um, in whatever their field was or just taking some time to do research or something like that. Um, and so for me, I was one of the youngest in my class. Um, which made me feel very like, young and childish sometimes. Um, people knew all about taxes and like stocks and investments. And <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm just here. Um, but so there's always that adjustment and just kind of learning like the adult world when you're still in school. And I think that's something a lot of people who are in um, medical school actually have that disadvantage because we don't enter like adult world until we become residents in a sense. All right, so what kind of unexpected changes have you been exposed to since you graduated and what strategies do you employ to embrace those changes? Um, so unexpected changes. I think during medical school, a lot of times um, we are moving, with Emory's curriculum, we move very fast. So our preclinical years are very, are like truncated and then we spend more time in the hospital um, than in some of the two year two 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 uh, programs um, and that's a blessing in that you get more clinical exposure quickly and so you have to kind of prepare for what whatever that schedule looks like um, for me it's been the most helpful thing for me for embracing that change is kind of becoming as prepared for it as I can be um, because I'm not the first person to go to med school. I'm not the first person to go to Emory's med school. So um, I've relied a lot on the classes about me and I was never afraid to ask them, okay, once I'm on this part of the, you know, of the curriculum and we're about to move into this next portion of it, what should I, what are some things I should be on the lookout for and what are some things I should be prepared for or, um, you know, ready to take on. Most of the time they would give me enough advice just to calm my nerves. And then the, the rest of it, there's just nothing that you can really control about it. And I think those are the changes that um, teach us about ourselves and that we actually learn from the most. So when we have to think on our feet without any plan, um, a lot of times that's when you realize, okay, this is something that I wasn't prepared for, but now I can develop this skill in real time. And mm -hmm. sometimes those are, those are ones that are the most salient and like stick with you because you feel like you made a fool out of yourself, but you actually just learned a very valuable lesson. So um, those are some of the ways that I kind of navigated some of the changes. Um, and hopefully, I mean, I'm sure they're going to be a ton, ton more as I continue on in my career, but um, change becomes more fun because you realize how much you're learning from them. Yeah, well, thank you. And then lastly, what was helpful in your work that you've learned from the Leadership Institute? Oh, man. So one thing that I always reflect on about the Leadership Institute is the emphasis on um, teamwork versus like group work. Um, I always talk to people about that because when we are, you know, even when we're studying 
And then when we end up getting to the hospital and we're working on teams, taking care of actual patients, um, there's no such thing as like, this is a me thing, this is a you thing. Most, like all of the time, the, there's a centered goal and that is about the patient and patient care. So in that sense, it makes the teams very cohesive. Um, if you have a really good team, you will get everything done and then everyone will be in higher spirits because you're being efficient. So that's something that the Leadership Institute is just like, like I think it's a really like small thing, but it like goes a long way. Yeah, thank you so much. Of course.